All right, so we are now post full day of epic b-ball hangout interview with Josh. Super fun. We now have Gal Shapiro joining us on the set. Ori's brother. Ori's on the set now, too. So, Gal, you have two stories that you wanted to kick us off with. Yeah, just right. two stories from childhood PE that I'd like to discuss. <laughs> so, the first story is, like, the PE teacher was dividing teams for uh, dodgeball or kickball or something like that. And he's like, all the guys on one side and all the gals on the other side. <laughs> and he actually put me on the team with the females as well. <laughs> so, it was, like, girls plus your boy against guys wow. and that was like how we did it sometimes in PE it was like kind of a running joke like <laughs> guys and gals because my name yes. is Gal I got to play with the girls team uh, awesome. and then uh, <laughs> my story. second story <laughs> my second story involves uh, uh, basically I was playing kickball and I was the pitcher and one time a kid's shoe flew up in the air 30 feet and hit me in the head and everybody was <laughs> laughing and that hurt like hell and everybody in the whole PE class was <laughs> laughing, and I just got hit by a shoe that landed from 31 feet in the air on wow. my head. Wow. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Does anybody else have any PE stories that like, they could have, like, stories from PE? I, I have one of my son. So my son went to, uh, he tested to get into this school. You have to have, like, a really high IQ. He was in second grade. <clears throat> so I come to pick him up one day, and so he's playing against... He, he's, he's playing against the boys in his class. So he's playing one versus 11. In what? In soccer. In soccer? One versus 11. That's crazy. And he was holding his own. He was just like, <laughs> like all these kids, all these really smart kids and my son. My son was just like playing one on 11. Wow. <laughs> oh, I have another, I have another, this is an interesting story. So, um, <clears throat> you ever do the, the egg toss? Mm -hmm. Egg toss, like this, this is oh, like. Speaking of sensitivity, that works on sensitivity. Egg you toss. Egg toss, yeah. Oh, you have to, you you have have to, to catch sensitive. it. Sensitive, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so um, I love doing that. Yeah, I love throwing and catching. This is like a company picnic. So I, I come and I go. Oh, we just started the egg toss, right? So everyone, so it's like, I don't have a part. Anyone want to do it? No. So I say, okay, I'll do it myself. So I, I would throw it. And then I would run to get on the other side and catch it. Interesting. I throw it back. You throw it high. I, I would high throw enough. it <laughs> and I'd enough. run yeah. and I'd catch yeah. it. At first is this you start a hard boiled egg you, or what? You, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no, this is, no. This is you, you know, you start close. And then you go farther and farther and farther. So there's about ten people, this ten you pairs. Yourself like Have that, you ever yeah. snapped so, the so egg wait, on wait, your hands? So ten pairs of people. So we're doing it, and then it's down to just two. Like me and this other. Oh, and you're throwing it to yourself. I'm throwing it to myself. So it's like, this was fucking far away. So I get the egg, and I throw it, literally, I threw it as high and as far as I could. I just threw the egg as hard and as far, right. and high I and just far, yeah. started booking, and I'm booking, and I like get by, and I actually caught it. I actually like landed in my hands. It Exploded. broke, it broke, but I got it in my yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. But that was like, that was so fun to do. It was bound to break. It's a damn egg. At the I end know, of the day, the eggshell is so thin. I know, but I mean, it was fun. <laughs> how about how many feet can you egg toss yourself? Yeah, that was, I don't know. It was That's like, a good question. The world self egg tossing champion. There you go. <laughs> Gal, you wanted to talk about basketball. We had an epic amount of half court games that we played against some other peeps today. You two actually played in college. Gal and Ori, you guys played in college. You guys have played. Also, you um, were co-captain uh, of. Well, I actually played. I actually was, was that high school and high, soccer? You said basketball and soccer. It was, it was basketball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I averaged over nineteen points a game for the University of Connecticut. Were you playing wow. UConn? Wow. Stanford Branch. Stanford Branch. Wow. Still. Damn. But that so that was, was your <laughs> average of nineteen. That's big. <clears throat> Well, it was it wasn't as good as high school, I mean the, the the competition. But anyway, but but yeah, but I went to the the Stanford branch of the University of Connecticut. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
So anyway. Yeah. yeah. And then you guys also played in college. And you guys were both. We like, played for real college. You guys were like beast. Uh, I mean, you guys both can dunk. You guys both have dribbles. You guys. I mean, good. the truth is we both kind of rode the bench. But we're also talented. We're also very talented. But Oh, I saw those reels. I saw the reels of you playing. Like, that was some talent. And yeah. you today playing with you. Yeah, there's... Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah I mean... Huge talent. The highest level I went was to try out for the G League for the Santa Cruz Warriors. And huh. I, d- I tried out twice, but didn't make it. But that was huh. my highest level. Huh. But uh, Ori was the video coordinator for basketball team on De Anza College. So I was in Texas, and I was using my headphones and training, running... And practicing to try to walk on so i was able to move to california walk on to the team that ori was a part of huh. first as a video coordinator then as a player yeah. and so ori took his talents to foothill college shortly after yes and why did you want to bring up basketball because basketball has so many core ideas to it that are in many ways, we when we when we play or when other people watch people playing or when other people just hear the word basketball or whatever sport it may be, actually, sport has so many things that are so deep into human into humanity. Probably the deepest one is teamwork. Another one is play. Mm-hmm. Another one is having these set constraints, these rules of the ball is like this and the point system is like this. And you can't follow people. You have to dribble. You can't like kick the ball. Right. So there's all of these rules that you play by and then this is like you're literally running iterations of how the games play out and so there's there's so many core aspects to sport that are easily overlooked and we all played growing up a diverse Mm -hmm. amount of sports and Mm -hmm. it was a massive part of our lives is that kind of what what were you thinking about when you said i want to talk about basketball i want to talk about basketball because basketball is my favorite thing to talk about. And if I'm reading a book, it's usually about basketball. Ever since we were kids, my dad put my brother and I in front of the TV to watch basketball. Played yeah. basketball. We love yeah. basketball. And yeah. then we got a basketball hoop in the driveway with the crooked driveway. Yeah. So we would jump from the high part to the low part. And that's how we were able to hire the hoop with the crank. Every time, a little bit, little increments, dunk a tennis ball, dunk a volleyball, mm. dunk a smaller basketball, and then you can dunk because the curb lets you jump off from the higher part <laughs> of the driveway. <laughs> and that's the reason Ori is what he is today, and Ori is able to dunk like crazy. And you got to get infatuated with it and just love it every day. And we used to have posters in our room of basketball players, you know, filling the whole room. Yeah. 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 You, I like how you talk about it um, from even from your earliest parts of youth, you had the stimuli that it were starting to inspire you and that you had to go through this incremental process of dunking a tennis ball, then dunking something a little bit bigger, then a little bit bigger until you could do it all the way to the, to the full ball. Yeah. And it's, you, you brought it up because it was a core aspect of your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Like, whatever you think about all the time will manifest. So if that's basketball and getting better at that, getting better every day at yourself, being the best version of yourself you can be, then that's what you think about. Or whatever you think about will manifest. So whatever you focus on, that's what you'll reach, right? Yeah. Because your thoughts form your habits, and your habits mm. and your behavior forms your character, and that's mm. who you are. And then pretty much... I just really love basketball, and then I think it's been a thing in my family with our father being our coach as kids, and he took us to soccer first and then basketball, so we got the footwork part out of the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. So that's, that's a way to really bond with your dad. Great way to bond with your dad is playing sports, being coached sports. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Part of the Northwest YMCA, Purple People Eaters. Something that I think would be interesting to mention just on this topic is as I was talking about all these core uh, nuances of sport, um, sport has been around for so long. And it's not just looking at the modern day uh, sports and stadiums. But this is going all the way back 
to just being able to discover what we could uh, to what we could do with even a simple ball, what we could do with simple games, with simple mm-hmm. play. And uh, it's bec- it was just such a core part of our development. And it's still today parents enlisting children into sport and into music and into all different types of activities for the child to figure out what inspires them and what gets them mm-hmm. um, like feeling like they're bringing their gifts to the world. Looking back at life, it's so easy to be able to like connect dots and be like wow because i played sport or i did these activities because my parents facilitated that for me that i became who i am today Mm -hmm. well i'm going to take another a different aspect of this and talk about the play Mm. and sport because what really stuck out for me when you're describing today is that we met these five people that we didn't know, mm. never seen them before. And, you know, you said there's rules and everything, but, but there aren't, I mean, we made up rules. We, 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 we figured out what this, I mean, we, what, different rules. I mean, we, we sort of changed the rules. And, but there's always the... Yeah, because my man, my man likes to play twos and threes. Yeah, I want to play twos and threes. Right. My man wants to play twos and threes. Even though it's not good for our team. He's like, don't say that. I, I have my twos and I want my twos. I know, but see, I like real basketball. So it's, you, it's, not, it's not real you basketball. You want to go twos and threes in the half court? In the half court, not in the full court. Yeah. In the half court. Yeah. yeah. And, I play losers, and, and I play losers out, too. Twos and threes. And I play losers out. Hey, twos and threes to 25. Win yeah. by two, and he says win, win by, by four. four. Win right. by four. Right, because you're playing twos and threes. To 25. Yeah. Twos and threes. Yeah, and losers out. Usually, usually what I'll, I'll go to a court and I'll say, here, you can have the ball, but play my rules. And I say twos and threes, take everything back, and losers out. And half general, court or full court? Half court. Half court, I do it all the time. So there's rules, like you can't play twos and threes half court. You can't I know, play, I know. You, you I cannot know. play fives half court. I know, right. I know, there's, there's certain rules. <laughs> we went against the rules. See, that, but, but that's what's so cool, is that, that we did that with these guys. And, but, but playing basketball is such an intimate thing. Yeah. Like, there aren't other sports like that. There aren't sports where, I mean, soccer can be sort of like that, and football, obviously, you know. But, but basketball is such an intimate sport where you're, you're next to someone, and, you know, I generally have a closer relation. Guy, I'll can I a, pause you here for a second? Yeah. Just feeling like, I know I'm being quiet. Oh, yeah. I know I'm being quiet, but just feeling like I'm a little bit losing my yes. connectedness with us. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you were. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just like how human beings just work it out. Like, we didn't know these guys, and we worked it out. And we're playing, like, you know, we're smashing into people and doing all sorts of things. And it's not that clear what a foul is or what a foul isn't. Mm -hmm. And so we have to work it out. Mm -hmm. And there's just such a, you know, I've played basketball in so many places with so many people. And it's just so cool that you just go anywhere. I mean, if you just go to a basketball court and show up, there's just, it's just acknowledged that if you make it, you get the ball back, right? Like, that's just mm-hmm. like, it's just a cool thing. It's just like an unstated thing. Wherever you go, yeah. it, it's like that's what's true. And, and it just makes me feel good that I can just show up with people and I have a bond with them. Like, we, like we know these rules and we, we come from this, this thing that we love, right? Because we're not getting paid to be out there. We're doing it because we love it, mm-hmm. right? I and love how you said that you can just approach. Yeah, there's so many interesting aspects to the, what you were just saying. One of them was that there's like you go out no matter where you go, <clears throat> you shoot it, you make it, you get the ball back. Um, there's also like, you know, you basically the basketball rules uh, in the Philippines or in uh, or in Japan or in uh, um, Latvia or in the United States are all mostly the same unless there's little differences yeah. in like yeah. culture. Ones and twos, twos yeah. and threes can't play five on five half court, all this type of stuff. And it's cool that you can basically go and land in all these different countries and be able to play ball like this, play a sport. Um, that's so interesting. And then the, the, when, you, when we approached the court, it was you know, us four approaching the court and seeing, okay, there's five other guys that are playing there. Let's, let's make the inquiry, the yeah. request. Can we right. play fours with you guys? Yeah. Uh, and 
Then, like... <laughs> then we played four on five. <laughs> lost. <laughs> but yeah, but so far we lost. it real fast. Like, you have to... When you defend people... You are right here defending them. Yeah. And yeah. you get intimate with people real quick. Yeah. Uh, and you are dripping sweat onto each other. And you, and you are, um, you know, you have a, sportsmanship is critical. It's not That's clear. Good. It's not clear what a foul is. Yeah. Um, and so you have to be, uh, you have to not try too much to, uh, to, to, call like oh i'm being fouled all the time but you have to also be like hey like that was a foul yeah. and like you know we're cheering each other on where you have to communicate you have to be like you know there's a there's a, a pick to your left that's coming so yeah. be ready for that yeah you have to talk about you um you know open pass me the ball all these types of things and so these like intricacies and nuances yeah. they help like you just drive actually it was funny i was giving I was giving a, I was giving compliments because I love yes, it when people right. do really well. I'm just like, dude, that was a great shot. Yeah. And like, usually you only do that for your team, but I love also just being like, you know, good job to some yeah. of the other guys. And Gal was just like, would you say no uh, opposing, congratulating or something? Oh yeah, like yeah. don't be a fan of the opposition. Yeah. I, I learned that from Ori in, in Israel. I learned that from Ori because we played with our cousins. We each had a cousin on our team. And then uh, the guy on my team, no, the guy on Ori's team was cheering for our team. And Ori's like, are you on my team or theirs? Because <laughs> you're cheering for them. So Ori didn't appreciate that. So I'm like, don't cheer for the other team because I heard Ori say that. <laughs> well, I'm in, Alan, I'm in Alan's camp because <clears throat> I, always, I always cheer for the other team. No, yeah, I mean, like you can say good shot for sure. Yeah. Sportsmanship, it's just, yeah. It's just, it, I'm about what's, what, what's more fun for me. And it's so much more fun to, for me, both when the other person's doing well and when they're happy. When we're, I mean, you know, and also a big thing, difference is whether someone, if you're playing to stay or not. That's huge. Playing to stay. Yeah. Stay on the court. Yeah. You win, you stay. Yeah. In, other words, in other words, competing. Well, no. We were competing, but... You're saying, are there people waiting to play? Yeah, when you're, when you're, yeah, when you're going to have to sit your butt down if you don't win, <laughs> that changes it completely. Compare it. You win, you stay, king of the court. Yeah, I mean, see, we were playing. We, we didn't have to worry about that. So that makes, it a lot, that makes it easier to do it, just that structure. There was no team of five waiting to play against the winners. Right, right. so we wouldn't have to not play if we lost. So, see, but, all that we did today was half court, and yet I'm tired as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Likewise, I'm going to be sore, and it's a great exercise. My heart rate was, my body was thanking me, and my body's still sore. And yeah. it's, it's a gorgeous thing to be able to move yourself like that yeah. and work out. Yeah. Half court is, so I, I, I participated in something called the senior, the senior Games, the Senior Olympics. So the Olympics for people over 50. So it's every mm. age group, 50 wow. to 54, 55 to 59, all the way up. Wow. So I was, I was there... Uh, Hanging out, there were 80 year olds, 80 to 84. I There's was like, a group for that too. Yeah, they're, they're put, I mean, this is all over the country. This was, this was, I just was at the one in Albuquerque, but each state has it, and then there's a national thing. I was just at the national. You made it all the way up to the national? No, no, no. no. I mean, I, I went as an observer. I, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't try and qualify. The, the, the top two teams for each state qualify to go to the, go to the so national. Cool. It is cool. Yeah. The point of that is, is that it's, it's three on three and it's half court, mm -hmm. and it's losers out, but as soon as a basket's made, there's no check. As soon as the basket's made, you throw it out past the foul line and three-point line, and oh, then you go. Oh, fast pace, So yeah. they play 12-minute running halves, and their score is in the 80s. It's oh crazy. Yeah, it's so fast. Yeah. And I mean, the highest level of three-on-three -three in the world is in the big three league, because they use former NBA players one year removed what? Oh, that'd be yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, I love three on three. Yeah, three on three is a, it's a new Olympic sport coming in. This oh, year. good. Oh, yeah. what three on three? Basketball <laughs> just made it into the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this upcoming three and three, the first time. three and three is great. Half yeah. court. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. It's a new Olympic sport. I think it's half court. I believe so. Interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure it is. Yeah, three on three. Well, in Israel, they play three on three to seven. By ones and twos, win by two. But they call every ticky-tack foul on a fadeaway. If you touch them like this, foul. Yeah, it was made by Ice Cube. 
because I guess he has a big network with all these guys. Oh, the big three, three on three league. Yeah. Oh, that league was made by Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube like runs it. Yeah, it's it's in its third season. Interesting. Huh. Big three yeah. is great. They use NBA players. Yeah, they've got like who like. Jason. And some of them are like Gilbert fat, Arena. out of shape, and, but just and then some of them are like damn. Like there's fifty year old um, uh, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, and he's like still just like got his. He's like this guy, mm-hmm. um, yeah. and he's he's performing. Yeah. Cool. So that's big three. Big Gal, three on Gal Fox. brought it up. He's holding a basketball. I like big three a lot. I try to watch their highlights. They're in the playoffs right now, and huh. big three started by Ice Cube. I think it's in its third or fourth season. It's in the playoffs right now. You can watch the Sunday recaps from the week, and it's huh. pretty cool. Yeah, big three huh. on can Fox. I, yeah. Can I ask Alan? What made you feel like asking my brother Gal if he wanted to be on the show? Hmm. Leading up to today, it was <clears throat> uh, becoming clear that we were going to be having a blast today. And also that Ori becoming such a closer and closer uh, pillar of my life um, makes it so that inevitably this the set the second the second connection to gal is now becoming more and more gravitationally important as well and so this being the first time that we get to kick it, you know, it was really important for me. Like just wanting to have an excellent mm-hmm. time today, and even Josh mm-hmm. too, because um, Ori had been talking you up as well, and like, mm-hmm. and I was just super pumped for that. And so, then the, when you talked to me on the phone for the first time, you're like, I can't wait to see your North Star. Yeah. And I'm like, I see my what? I'm my like, what? No, 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 I really, really, I know what he's talking about. North Star, what guides you in life, mm-hmm. what you reach towards. I get it, but the, no one talks like that. So just like hearing Alan Saki on the phone for the first time it was like you know this is about to happen and then they got me up in here in the simulation studios where Ori works hard <laughs> and guy just hey, our boy just got interviewed right here <laughs> yeah it was it was a it's a it's a big deal for me to know you better and to be able to have this beautiful interplay with each other um, after a great day together to, to do this and mm-hmm. yeah so that's that's where that's where it comes and creation from. is like the best thing that like humans can do just be using your creative energy towards creating organic you know for people to consume mm-hmm. in different media Ori I adore your sensitivity <laughs> it's so incredible it's life changing being around you and your sensitivity it's life changing it's taught me so much And it required a lot of work to be able to become that sensitive. And, and then the way that he helps other people also transform. It's just gorgeous. He's very giving of his energy abilities and his compassion and his empathy to people. He'll just sit there and hold space and people will unload on him and vent. Like, I just went to Starbucks and they said yada, yada, yada. And he's like, huh. So how did that make you? Feel. And Oreo will just focus on them, and I think he excels. Even, even that example is like such, like you know, it's like, like just the very tip of the iceberg. There's just like insane amounts of human psyche uh, that are not like you know communicated in that in that example. Um, there's just there's there's just so much that actually occurs with the way that um, um, Ori is able to skillfully um, uh, hold space for people to transform, um, and um, and there's just so many different variables about what people are doing. It's mostly people are clearing their channels to connect and anchor the divine within themselves, and. It's just uh, to, 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 to be able to consciously hold a space where people can do that is just, it's, it's a talent that um, is currently super under the radar. Like right now, everyone's like, become a programmer. 
Uh, and, uh, and people are like, what do you mean holding space? But like in the future we're seeing, it's like, hmm, you know, how fast can we teach an AI to be able to write code? Well, how fast can you teach an AI to be able to dive to the depths of the human psyche and help them transform consciousness? So it could potentially even be something as insane as people going to even school to learn how to hold space. Human to human interaction, and also we hypothesize engineering, are like two of the biggest um, futuristic uh, jobs to have. And so he's at the edge, like, a decade before um, it's really blowing up. Mm. Like that is what happens when you constantly work on diving deeper into the psyche. Like you're like, you have 15 tickets to Warriors games this year? Yeah. So you're like, you know, I got 15 tickets to Warriors games this year. You know, like so pumped, right? And like people get to choose whatever the fuck they want to spend their time on, period. And like that's beautiful that people get to do that and we get to have such... <clears throat> great endeavors into our own interests yet at the same time it's like <clears throat> this this like first question about the ultimate nature of reality when we're birthed into the world it's like in a sense it's like well there's so many things to like entertain myself with or to or to pursue that's why on the phone i'm like you know super pumped to get into the north star so, like, I have this insatiable desire to get into the depths of the human psyche, to understand the source code of our reality, to understand people's North Stars, to help people unleash their gifts forth at maximum desires. And I don't have as much of a desire to watch television, to, um, uh, I like playing sport, not so much going and watching sport that much. Um, there's so many things, all of the all of, of being in social media, news feeds, there's so many of these examples. And so, you know, people get to pick their what they wanna do, but sometimes it feels like I don't even think people know necessarily that they're like, wait, understanding the source code of reality, understanding my North Star, understanding my gifts, bringing them forward, uh, understanding how to connect to the depths of psyche, but these are options? I didn't even know they were options. Right. That's why I was doing all the entertainment stuff. Right. And so that's what something that comes up for me is like, do people even know that they have those options on the tool belt? No, they don't. I mean, it's our birthright, as far as I'm concerned, to, to understand life as deeply as we can to understand ourselves. And to be this, to be what our essence is and to express it. Like, if that's not a birthright, to be yourself... I don't know what is. <laughs> and, and to know, and this is what just kills me, to know what life is, to know about, like, I mean, the idea that we're debating evolution, it's just like, it's just so insane. But to know that we come from this, I mean, that's the most glorious thing. But even, but even to like really know, like, how we're born. I mean, you can just start there. Everyone can agree that, like, mm -hmm. the sperm goes into the woman's egg. And then these bodies, like, how amazing is that? How absolutely amazing is that? And yet, how many people actually get to experience that? The same level of amazement that you have for how incredible the piece of art is that is a human body, how many people consciously have connected to that deeply? Yeah, and that, that should be our birthright, to know what is, to actually know what is and not just what somebody's doing and who they're fucking. I mean, just like... So, so then is that then this grand... Uh, dichotomy that we have between letting like just being totally cool with no judgment people get to pick whatever they want to do yeah. with their life you know yet the content that we're distributing here is trying to 
remind people that you have other options of connecting to the divine, understanding this beautiful piece of art that is the body, yeah. unleashing your gifts into the all world. All the things you said. All the things that we said, connecting to source, yes. understanding our source yeah. code, all these types yes. of things. Like, so we're consciously choosing to spread that message so yes. that then people can go, hmm, maybe I didn't know those were options. Or maybe I want, I knew they were options and I've done it a little bit, but I want to do it more. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they do it all the fucking time already yeah. and that they want to go and endeavor into something else. <laughs> Yo. Yo. No, yeah, this is surreal. Like, I'm humble, grateful to be here, and y'all, like, made me food. And, like, you know, I was a bit late because I may have had my hands dirty, but I got here and then. You know, we were able to achieve greatness playing basketball and this guy's interview, the classic yeah. one. And so whenever humans dwell together in union, mm. you know, such is how it is when men dwell. Because that first call had that North Star inquiry, plus Ori just brought up this gifts and North Star inquiry, let's endeavor into it if you're interested. Sure. All right, let's do it. What would you say is a North Star for you? Or what would you say are gifts sure. that you can bring to the world? I mean, my whole life, my North Star was three letters, NBA. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But then you have to get realistic and figure out how to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. So that's what I learned when I started working at Jamba Juice when I was 18. Like, you have to work. But then I realized I really miss basketball. Uh -huh. But... You can't be in two places at once as much as you want to be. So, I mean, what's your North Star? I mean, the highest thing on the pyramid of Maslow's hierarchy of needs is self-actualization, which is hard to achieve. Mm -hmm. It's harder to achieve than food and water, right? Yo, who has the water? There's right there. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> what's, what's it? Like survival's at the bottom. Uh... I'm curious, what's it like for, what's it like for you guy to be with Gal as he shares with us? I um, you have a, such a a natural childlike era aura about you. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, very endearing. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm just happy. Like, ever yeah. since I saw my dad pass away at age 44, he was. So I'm like, every day is so valuable to have fun and enjoy it, you know? And I love merging networks and hanging out with a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. So, like, my girlfriend's an introvert, but I'm an extrovert. You know, like, where is it at? Like, where was it at? Where is it at now? Yeah, that's a great, great question, you know? Some of my goals are just to be in good shape to like uh you know have a good relationship with my girlfriend move in with her eventually get married start a family have kids uh be independent from my mom be independent from my girlfriend like money wise and things like that nature and um be in good shape you know are some of my short-term goals mm -hmm. so that's like my north yeah. star for the short term yeah. Yeah. what what is something that you feel like you could wake up every day and have deep meaning in doing? Um, that's a great question, you know? I mean, I am just in a new job right now. I've been working one month, so, like, I'm really happy that I have a full-time job, you know? I was offered a couple jobs in sports. San Jose Earthquakes, events, uh, Golden State Warriors, customer service, uh, customer experience representative for the new arena, part-time. Mm. Mm. And San Francisco 49ers is a box office selling tickets. But I turned all those down, and I'm working at the Jewish Community Center of San Francisco as a customer service lead. Why did you pick that over the other ones? Because it was full-time, it's going to be really good, I have benefits, and... It's customer service, which is exactly what I was looking for. And the Jewish Community Center allows me to be around some things I like. There's a basketball gym there mm -hmm. on the yeah. third floor. They have a basketball yeah. court, three full courts. And, like, there's a swimming pool. People come with their families. And their mission statement is, like, 
to bring people together and communities together. Beautiful. Yeah, so it's a Jewish community center, but it's a misnomer that you have to be Jewish to work out there. Sure. Yeah. As in, just like anyone, the anyone can go. They're very inclusive and welcoming. Anyone can be a part of the community center. Yeah, community oh. center or the fitness center. Hmm. Yeah. And there's events that happen there. Sure. Yeah, the we have like lectures and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, with really prominent people. Yeah, because yeah. Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers is coming to talk about his book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Andre Godala just came. Hello. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Would you want to pursue something in, like you listed the, um, the, you know, the potential with the Warriors, potential with the 49ers? Like, does it seem like you're yeah. kind of being like, and NBA being this, these three letters that in such a massive part of your life, like, would you yeah. say that at some point you're interested in doing some sort of like deeper work in, um, in basketball? And, sure. Yeah. It's always been a dream of mine to have the Gal Shapira basketball clinic and just kind of like have like these two days and you give the che- kids like turkey and bologna sandwiches or like bologna and cheese. <laughs> Cause that's what I like. I like bologna and cheese and mayonnaise sandwiches with craft singles and some like bologna, which had pork. I was eating pork back then, but um, you know, really, I would like to give the kids two days to get better at skill development, conditioning, shooting, dribbling, passing, because that's what we did in the summer. We would go to summer camps and skill development, and you could learn a lot from that. So yeah, I would still want to be around basketball. I love basketball. You know, playing a little bit of college and trying to play professionally. Uh, but What's holding you back mm-hmm. from doing the Gal Shapira? Like, even the tiny, like, just take one one kid or three kids and just do, like, a two-hour teaching session. What's holding you back from, like, starting that now? Um, just a potential conflict of interest with my new job. I have to check into it. Since with, I'm what, new. the JCC? Yeah, because I'm just one month you, in. I have to check. If, you don't uh, think they may let you... They if, might, yeah. If you're on the side, like if you're doing it at the center, then that's different. But if you're doing it like at your near your home and you're running a business, you, may, you people can be entrepreneurs and also be working at. Gal, to me, like you seem so full of love. You are love. Like I Thank feel you. <laughs> so much like radiant love. Thank you in man. you, and when you talk about your North Star and your gifts and like what you care about bringing to the world, that feels to me like most you. And that's, and like just to be able to hear you talk about it and like take steps in this direction of like um, having a deeper relationship with your girlfriend that you love and a deeper relationship with your work and a deeper relationship with seeing this future of potentially doing a Gal Shapiro with some young kids school for basketball and stuff like like that to me is like, you, like this is your gifts. This is your north star, and like the more you go in that direction, even incrementally. Or you brought up this word, you know, functional, like on a daily basis, being functional around these mm-hmm. things that matter to you most, mm-hmm. and just being like really vigilant with knowing like what is driving your utmost like functionality towards those gifts. Yeah, I mean, I always talked about starting a business. I didn't know in what. So the most simple, natural transition for me is to make a clinic of basketball because that's what I'm passionate about. So Mm -hmm. I went to school at the (coughs) California State University, Monterey Bay, and studied business administration. I got the general degree because I wanted to be able to choose which classes looked fun. So that's why Mm -hmm. I didn't major in marketing or something like Mm -hmm. that. I wanted to take the classes that are fun, and I just got a business administration degree. And... you know, learn some basic knowledge, but um, people like Ori are super, super talented, and I'm just so proud of Ori. Thanks, Gal. Mm-hmm. Ori's hyper talented, and he's hyper sensitive, hyper aware. He's a person yeah. who can really uh, moment to moment. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, moment to moment, being present. Mm-hmm. That's good. What's the word for being present? It's like mindful. Mindfulness. Yeah. Or you can practice mindfulness. Yeah. Thought being creation uh-huh. is like, th- okay, this North Star basketball clinic, those two words. Like, does your mom know that you no. want Does your girlfriend know? No. 
<laughs> well, your brothers don't know. No one knows. But you're... I mean, it's not far off. Gal has had... He made, like, a little podcast around the Warriors. Mm. And he got season tickets for the Warriors for two, three years. Going into and my he fifth would, year. And he, and he, fifth fifth and, year? And, yeah. And he, he loves the Warriors. And he would buy and sell tickets, so that, that's a skill. Yeah. He would buy and sell his season tickets, and he would dish them out to friends. Why not talk to your girlfriend, to your mom, to your brothers about this basketball clinic? Why not talk to more friends about it? One of them could literally be like, yo, I already started like doing it with like three kids. Like, do you want to come and help me on the days I can't do it? Like, you know what I mean? There's so many things that could emerge from just literally voicing it more into the world. Like the North I agree. Story. I agree. That's cool. I mean, this is literally what I care about is having other people be like, yeah. yo, that aspect of my North Star journey, like that inspiration, like I brought it forth. Nice. And I was able to achieve those next steps. No, that's really cool. Like, like there's so mm. much brightness that is like wanting to unleash itself through all of us. Mm. And like we have the gifts and all of you have your gifts and to unleash those fully into the world is of the most important thing yes. yeah i had yeah. so much fun playing basketball today with you guys it was, it was yeah. so fun it was yeah, so fun. fucking fun it was yeah. a blast i love yeah, it so got I, that's that's a cool thing that you got a place to play guy you're, you're pretty good man <laughs> he's so good bro <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> Guy Iverson. <laughs> Guy Iverson. <laughs> it's fun. That, yeah, well, uh, I enjoyed how much you enjoyed it. I had a blast. Yeah. And Ori was able to get loose with his back. How was? At the beginning? Mm. Well, at the beginning, there wasn't a back issue. Right. Oh, what? But yeah. But yeah. yeah. I was able to have fun with you guys and play a couple games. and. Um, Hell yeah. Four and five, we lost. Four and four. Yeah, that's fine. But um, I we could have we could have got done better. Um, but this but we were we were moving like a unit. Yeah, we were we no were sick. we were zipping yeah. we were for zipping sure, the spots. Sure. And we were zigging and zagging. We were zipping the spots and moving like a unit. Um, and this was the first time we played together, and we had a we game? had a a, a a togetherness mm-hmm. and a natural sort of capacity mm-hmm. for yeah. Your boy over here has got to get a little rust cleaned off, and then he can be a better aspect to the unit, for sure. No, you were sick with your cutting and passing and dribbling on the perimeter? Yeah, except I have a lot of important uh, upgrades in my skills (laughs) in that domain to get get better at. It's fine. Some people pick up basketball later and stuff, and I respect it. I love it. Or, and some people choose to, um, like, I know basketball is something I love, but I love... um, listening to like Jack Ma and Elon Musk talk about the future more. And so sure, sure. Um, that, you know, that, so like I have like a hardcore like nose for like, like sniffing out people talking about the edge of our world and like consuming that content to refine my world sure. view so that I become a better interlocutor on the show so that I can then uh, work on this grand synthesis and all this stu- kind of stuff. Um, so like that I put as just a priority. I like to see Ori in his play state, in his flow state, and I know he cares about dominating athletically. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He took it to me when we played. Oh, he beat like, you two one my, every my, time. My, 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 gal was, my gal was watching. My gal was watching us play. She's like, oh my God, <laughs> she couldn't believe it. She's just like, <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were friends. He's just like beating on you. Oh, yeah, or he's a physical player. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't give a damn that you're 100 pounds smaller. <laughs> no, 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 not in the least. <laughs> not in the least. It's like I'm coming through you. I don't give a shit. Yeah, but you're a pit bull anyways. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, but it was yeah. just so funny the reaction of my gal when she's watching it. Just like what? Yeah. She just so, couldn't believe. What I'll was tell she the was world. Saying. I'll tell the world. Guy beat me in one on one to fifteen twice in a row, and I was you're trying my darndest. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell the world. Yeah. Guy beat me in one on one twice in a row. Josh Silver. Yeah. Guy, guys, my 
my, my basketball name. <laughs> guys is basketball guy Iverson. And I'm six foot seven, two hundred and eighty pound guy, and this guy's five foot six, hundred and eighty. Six. He's five eleven, hundred and eighty. Hundred and eighty. Hundred and sixty. Hundred and sixty soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I loved listening to you guys. Um, in a sense, you were uh, being like, yo, like you're being like brothers that know that like you can help inspire each other become more um, ideal versions of your full potential. Mm -hmm. And I like, I love that. Thank That's you. That's a huge yeah. dynamic. Yeah. And Ori's like that with everyone. He wants to uplift everyone. And that's good, that's right? Accurate. Like, if you have in your mission statement, that's I want to help others. That's accurate information. <laughs> if your mission statement is, I want to help others. Yeah. You know, the triple bottom line. <laughs> yeah, that's the triple bottom line. Well, to have that comment come from two, or energetically come from two, um, uh, high quality inspiring vessels and my beloved brother is pretty sweet so mm. so namaste namaste namaste, namaste balling with this guy <laughs> <laughs> should we wrap do you guys want to wrap oh freeze oh, I, meant, I meant like wrap the thing up but then I realized Let's freestyle. Let's freestyle a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Millionaires! Millionaires! World peace. On the track, boy. It'd be cool to have viewers enter a topic, and then we just do a whole... We can go see if anyone's watching. Yo. We want to see if you're watching. So then you can enter a, a topic for us to riff on. So you can copy regeneration of simulation into your mind with stimulations. Oh. Feeling really hot now, so I gotta go and rap. Pass it to that bro O. Pass it to that bro O. I know it sounds like a damn promo, but he's my brother and it's fair. Shit, I see them stare, but it's all good because today we was getting air. Yo, me and Ori got the same colorway. Gray shirt with the red pants. Looking like some fire red ants. Just crawled up, just leaving bitch with that fire. What you want a sweet like dark chocolate is Godiva. Uh, I spit like saliva. Uh, Hit them in the house and your boy is on fire. Uh. I spit fire like a skateboard tire, skateboard will, and I will, and thrill, and kill, and if I can track that a motherfucking millipede got a hundred legs, and you know I'm running then, and you see me on the court, swish it like a fucking three. Get it, Alan? Yeah, like a three. Yeah, us three. Yeah. Talking about our gifts, how to bring them forth. Yeah, we balled all over on that court. Yeah, court. unleashing that North Star. Yeah, it's not very far. Yeah, we know our divine path forward. Yeah, it's gonna take a crash course, but step by step we get there. All celebrating, bringing forth our gifts. Yeah, unleashing our gifts, yeah. Yo. Take it over. Yo, what's the word? Significance. Significance. Shit, man, what rhymes with significance? Omnipotent. <laughs> Omnipotent, he used the word divine. Shit. And we sweet like swine. Maple leaf. Maple leaf. Going through a transition and I make believe. <sighs> hey, Let's hear maybe. Guy. Let's hear Guy take it for a bit. I don't do much freestyling with them words. 
I kind of make more sounds is what I've heard because I'm not paying that much attention because hey, I'm just letting it flow through. Let it flow through. Yeah. That's what we going to do, go and do. That's what we're going to do or we're going to be. Let's, why don't we be instead of do? Yo, Alan, Gal, and Guy. O R I. You know we are fly. Shit. Look. <laughs> We'd we be firefly with a light on our butt. I don't know why. Just because I love that thing. Be flying around with a light. Going high. Going around. Light in the darkness. I love the darkness. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Here I go. Here Yo. Go. I pull up to the park, run around like I'm on Adderall, play basketball because my ass is tall, but I don't even pass at all. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. 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 Play basketball, my ass is tall, run like I'm on Adderall because you know a motherfucker backed against the wall, but I will keep fighting standing tall because my name's Look, Gal, but they call me Gall. Do not pass him the ball. Make sure that you fucking hack him because he's gall. <laughs> dude is fucking six foot six. I'm like, dude, I do not want to shit on my dick. Uh, I don't want to get my ass whooped on the court. That's my fucking favorite sport. So I'm just trying to chill yeah. with these dorks and just play as a unit, as a team, like a whore. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. From a different beat, from a different rhythm, this world is gorgeous. 100 million species have lived on this planet before. Now there's 10 million of them with us here. There are 10 million species, but nothing is like the human. It's ever since the Adam and Eve, I can't fathom to believe <laughs> what we see each and every dawn and each and every evening. Even when I'm running in the park and it's dark, can't you feel the air outside and it's so pure? Going through your lungs as I tell a story. I'm running laps on a track, but I'll be right back. Uh, set an example with my running. What you want to do a waking up the morning stunning in the mm. awning at dawn it's so hot. What you want to do when I'm taking every damn, last shot. Damn, stunning. Shit, gal, that was really cunning. Shit, gal, you should make some money while you do that shit. Out your mouth is running. Freestyle flows for days for O oh, and days, people. Shit, we need a sequel. Man, <laughs> that shit, but we equal. Uh. Let me pass the mic to my guy, Guy, because he fly, fly. <laughs> and right before that, we're going to do a transition, okay? Give me a word. You don't want to rap? Uh, He's been man. doing some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been doing some. Yeah, no, I just do, I do more uh, just beats. You know, we could do for a little bit is we could all four of us create a beat by all taking on a different rhythm, <coughs> which is also very fun to do. It's fun, but let's just flip. No, you can, you, that might be something to practice off camera. I don't know. Okay, Here, what, it's actually quite easy. Like, wh- well, we just do a beat. Yeah, why don't we we'll just do it? Why don't we just? But do I feel like I'm it? getting tuned in. Like I'm gonna get better and better at freestyling if we continue. Yeah, yes, keep. But going. someone can uh, also uh, uh, go over this. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do more beats. I'm just gonna do my rhythm. Cause I'm the... Like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, you, you, you can talk. Okay, your word, peace. Peace in the streets, in the Middle East. May I fucking rise like yeast on these beats. I'm a beast. Peace out, we out. Got that fucking shit with the freestyle. Yeah! Coming down and I want peace of mind. And I'm trying to take every minute of time. I need peace. Rest on these beats. Rest in peace. Damn, look. Fuck gal. 
Damn, that was epic. Would you sleep? You sounded really rested. Uh. Woo! Like you put on some bulletproof vest in. Uh. And you started just shooting on them haters. Wrestling. Ooh. Yeah, how I'll be so fresh on the track. <laughs> Breath mint. Boy, you new to the game. New to the game. Freshman. Uh. Freshman. Freshman. Yeah. That's Y'all got my... them forms of intelligence. Huh. Yeah. Well. I feel like I'm in permanent kindergarten. Yeah. Universe is telling me to tap into my heart and yeah, that's the place where the seed grows from. Right in my heart. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Flower, flower, flowers, flowers. Can't get those flowers unless you water your garden of your heart. Do not stop. Start. Yeah. Flower, yeah. Look. Water. Flowers. Water that garden of your heart. Yeah. This shit is like some art. Yeah. And you know it's getting really dank like a fart. Ooh. And it's dark yeah. outside, but it's light. Shit, that's our fucking plight. All right. Now let me pass the mic to my guy, Gal Shapiro. Right. Talking about flowers. You reap what you sow, sow them seeds and they continue to grow. Go, 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 go. Uh, 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 moving beats again. By the way, I commented, let's see. For those watching, if you guys have a single word you'd like us to use as a freestyle topic, list it in the comments. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks. Thanks for watching, everyone. One. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching, everyone. And yeah, we appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Hey. Ori on the track. Millionaires. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate every little thing that you do. Appreciate you. We appreciate you. Now let's do what we gotta do. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Yo, appreciate you. Yo, when I was look, check, check, check. Yo, we. Really, really appreciate you, but we ain't desperate. Times in life, you're feeling really desolate. But you put together all the aggregate. And we just some dudes like Jesuit. Uh. In fact, it gets even better if you try. Better if you're feeling like waking up and just fly. All into the sky. And next day, you wake up like, ha, ah, deep breath. Cause you know we made it to the sky. Yeah, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, Lori Belly, appreciate you, we appreciate you, we appreciate you, we appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, okay, Go. so all of that appreciation is great, but you yourself have to become great. That means you unleashing your potential, unleashing fully, fully out to everyone, everyone that you love, even to the sun, to the sun above. Yes, she, the acronym sun, human, earth. Thanks to Josh Silver for introducing us to that. Yeah, put on your sun cap, go in, love the sun, love it with your heart. Yeah. Love it with your heart, yeah. Growing up, I am from a city of hella haters, but it's instrumental. I keep rising to the top like escalators. Yes, listen to this fresh flow. Listen to you, and we appreciate you. Know, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, look, appreciate it. To our viewers, you know what you mean to us. 
shit, it's a slam dunk like Russ, Westbrook, best dunker in the fucking game, NBA, I know y'all know his name, but look, it's really meaningful to have some viewers who care about what comes out our spewers, our mouth that spews these words, Alan, how do you feel dropping these turds? You, we appreciate you, we appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, we appreciate you, appreciate you, we appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. That was so beautiful. Appreciate you. That was so good. New word. Love. Okay. Love for the divine, and that's the one up above. I got love. I got nothing but pure, unadulterated, unconditional love to the one upstairs that's above, to the man upstairs that got love, to the one we're pulling the strings behind the scenes. Pinocchio ain't gonna lie. Testament, you gonna fly, you gonna see. One day if you try. We got love for the man above. We ain't no scrubs, we just got love. <laughs> yeah, you heard him talk Ain't about no love. What? Ain't but no where does love come from? What? Yeah, love comes from the heart. Yeah, unleashing it is an art. Yeah, you gotta unleash that pain stroke. Yeah, you gotta not be broke. Yeah, you gotta dish it out. Dish it out. You gotta like run yourself out. Yeah, uh, bring that paint forth. Yeah, what color are you gonna pick? Green, orange, yellow, red, purple, blue? Which color are you gonna pick? How big's your paint stroke gonna be on the canvas of creation? Yeah, what you gonna do with your life? How fucking hard you gonna strive? Uh, shit, what are you gonna make of this gift? Uh, as we riff, look, this life is pure existence. You can take whatever you want with it. You can make and create and heal and grow and flower. Shit, rapping for an hour. It's so important to flower. What else? Man, I'm just chilling. What the hell? Yo, put me off the bench cause it's game time Ballin' and rapping the same day at the same time Never drop a lame rhyme, hurry up, it's game time Y'all still in preseason, y'all think that we even on the same level Couldn't dig it with that lame shovel that you fucking yielded I'm dual yielding in Halo 2, mother suckers as I freestyle Yeah, you know, sometimes it gets a little hectic and wild Wild. But we still flowing like the Nile. Talking uh. about that shit and y'all still in denial. Damn. Uh. Yeah. 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 We got another topic. Thank you for telling us, Inaya Sumari. We greatly appreciate you watching. Or you go first. Yo. The Inaya topic is joy. Okay. Inaya Sumari, my name is Ari. And let me just thank you for your topic of joy. Shit. We gonna wrap it sweet like Chips Ahoy. Woo! That's some cookies. Look, joy, man, that's a feeling. That is an energy field that you can walk around with and just wield. Man, you can just really just feel it everywhere if you open to it or choose it. Then your whole life becomes some music and it gets really flowy, like some fluid. And me and Gal, we grew up Jewish, but now, we just open to the spirituality. We open to that joy. Happiness a choice. Yeah, I eat that good food. And I like to really, really, really have joy. Feeling really happy. Even when some days make me feel so crappy. Yeah, I got that joy. Happiness a choice. And I'm eating good food. And I'm playing sports. And I got that happiness when I'm feeling crappiness. And I got that joy. Cause happiness a choice. Arts, joy in the art, joy in creation, joy in source. All right, let's continue joy into the next one too. Joy. What is joy to you? Everyone, go around a circle, say a line. What is joy to you? We'll come back to you. Do it again. Love you back. Waving from way over in Tasmania. 
Thank you for watching from Tasmania. Greatly appreciate it. Huge shout out. Guy, what is joy, what is joy to you? For Good those joy. that don't know, Tasmania is an Australian state. It is on the south coast of Australia. Yeah, just south of Melbourne. Yeah, Tasmania. Yeah. yeah. Vast, rugged wilderness areas, largely protected within parks and reserves. Yeah. Damn. Maybe one day we'll go to Tasmania. Maybe one day we'll bring simulation to Australia. That would bring us joy. That would bring us great joy. Thank you for watching from Tasmania. Okay, one yeah. sentence at a time. What does joy mean to you? Hey. What does joy, joy mean? Joy is open to the magnificence in every moment. Every moment. Opening to the magnificence Ooh. in every moment. Joy is opening your heart to what is. And being okay with that be, being, taking place. Whatever that might be, right? Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Joy is childlike, innocent bliss of being. Ooh. Ooh. Childlike, innocent, bliss of being. Pain. Joy is when you make your first basketball shot. Childlike, innocent, bliss of being. 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 That is joy. That is joy. Childlike innocence, bliss of being. That childlike innocent bliss of being. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. That childlike, childlike innocent bliss of being. People on the YouTube land they streaming. Hear us on the computer, yeah. childlike innocence. And yeah. they streaming. People feel joy, so you know they beaming. Beaming, beaming. Yeah, yeah. Beaming, beaming. Beaming. Yeah. So you commented back, Kanaya. You said, if you could see my smile, you have all brought me joy in your sharing. We said, we appreciate you so much. Nice. Making our evening talking to you. What a great topic that was joy. Yeah. Making our evening yeah, talking yeah. to you. Making our evening Ooh. talking to you. Making our evening talking to you. Making our evening talking to you. Making our evening talking to you. Making my evening talking to you. Talking to you. Talking to that human connection. You. Across the world, across the talking pond, across you. the Pacific Ocean. Talking to you. Inaya Sumari, thank you. Inaya Sumari. All right. Let's do a new word. That word is God. <gasps> That's blasphemous to use that word, bro. In 2019, bro, we're too smart for that, Alan. God slash source slash creation slash all that is slash nature. truth slash voice slash the, the, the. I thought about evolution that way. Evolution is blasphemous to say it because that is what that unlimited potential is what is to me the, the ultimate, which is what God is. So to say that word evolution is blasphemous because we have no idea what it is to put it in a box and label it and have some concept Ooh. of it. Ooh. So, yeah. yeah. And I don't want to appear like some proselytizers, exclusive, non-inclusive, like come to this, like shit. God is you. God is what you love. God is what's inside. God is what makes you come alive. God is what uh. inspires. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. That too. Yeah. God can so, be everything. And goddess, but I mean, to say God without goddess is also blasphemy. Shiva and Shakti. You have to say Infinity, have to infinity got me. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, something that's been really interesting about God, we try to use symbols to describe God. Yeah, language doesn't really work. The best things that work are you unleashing your inner essence of God, unleashing your inner gifts of God. 
Yeah, that is so. Is got as many that different is facets, facets of enlightenment. Mm. You got love and infinity and absolute and 20,000 more. I don't know. This dude's been doing spirituality mm. for Momo. We're talking 40 years plus. Shit. Dude got the finger on his forehead by Muktananda in 1960s. Shit, are you with me? What, guy? <laughs> See the gift, share the gift. Receive the gift and share the gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bring us more so all may share this love and joy. Thank you, thank you, bring us more so all may share this love and joy. Thank you, thank you, bring us more. So all may share this love and joy. Thank you. Thank you. Truth, you can hear it in the message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, think about this show and tie it to it. We got influencers, right? <laughs> Business, tech, and science, and entrepreneurship. You know what I'm saying? Leaders in their fields. That's what simulation's about. And now what is this that we're adding to the mix? What is it? We're talking about something specific, but also not shit. Uh, yeah. You know how I feel about what we do? I have a clue. Sign spirituality mixing together into a unity glue. Yeah. That will drive us forward. That will drive us to heaven. That will drive us to unleash our gifts, unlock them together. Yeah. What do we know about life? Yeah. I know how to take those strides. I know how to unlock the strides in other people. Yeah. I know this show will do a good job. Yeah. I'm proud of us. We do it together. The big we, W, E, not I. Yeah. It's us. It's us. U, S, we, W, E, not me, not I. Yeah, not the ego, not the ego. It's the we go, baby. We go, amigo. Everybody got to play their role. <coughs> Everybody play their role. Everybody play their role. Then we'll get to the top like North Pole. Uh, <coughs> is our boy Guy doing well? I hope he can get some... Guy, you need some water? I'm good. Say he's good. Okay. All right. Back to that climb to the North Everybody Pole. Everybody play their role. Then we climb to the top like the North Pole. Uh -huh. Leaders, influencers, artists. Gal, what do you think, man? Gal, what do you think, man? Like, I'm the smartest. We got world influencers and artists. Uh -huh. Alan Saki and Ori Shapiro the hardest. Uh, on the mm. simulation, see what they done started. Uh, Episode 356,000. Mm. <laughs> Why you tuning in? Because they steady wildin' uh, on an island. Call it Tanzania. And it's near Australia. Got damn near to New Zealand. Looking like a Kiwi. What you want to do? You see me on the TV or the uh, YouTube. Cause we're making new news. It's the Alan Saki and Ori Shapiro stimulation for your ears, uh. stimulation for your brains, uh. stimulation for you. Cause you was going insane, impairing uh. yourself. But you gotta get stimulation. Tune in to that simulation. Ah, uh. uh. that's that good affiliation. Rubbing shoulders with the best in that nation. Ah, uh. reincarnation and all of the such. They talk about the subjects and they just go and touch on all of them. Yeah, but Tune not in. just in this yeah. nation. Yeah, the homies are going to other nations. Yeah. yeah, China's on the roadmap in just a week. I'm so pumped to interview their leadership. Yeah, now next up is where we going next. Maybe Shit. Saudi Arabia, maybe Russia, maybe Brazil, maybe Buenos Aires and Argentina. There are so many options people be seeing us. Alan got that <laughs> universal network. <laughs> It ain't even about net worth. Uh, yeah. Shit, countries to countries to leaders to influencers to shit to spread the right stuff. Mm. Unity, connection, role, community. Yeah. Collaboration. 
each and every nation. nation across those nations collaboration collaboration across nations collaboration across nations yeah that's a good tagline for a simulation yeah <laughs> that's the vision huh i like that Yeah, 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 yeah. On the track. Last one, guys. Millionaires. Yeah. Okay. On the yeah. track. Yeah. Millionaires. I'ma yeah. go and let my heart shine. Empty everything that I can until my tank is empty. You feel me? You get me? I'm on this track. I feel like I'm back in a studio and I'ma make the most of it. I'm with Alan Sakian and my bro. So let's get it. Let's take the track and rip it. If you feeling great, then witness. Yo. We all in here feeling terrific. Go, mm. go. Let's go. take the track and riff it. About uh. to jump or hop like a frog, like rip, rip it. it. Uh. Leap onto a higher timeline. Yo, this a grand opening. Who got the ribbon? Cause I just brought mine. Okay. Here's how I feel. How you feel, Alan? Very even keel. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I feel even keel. That's how I feel. I know that if I feel, then I can. Unlock sensitivity in my essence. Yeah, bring that message forward to the world, let it unfurl, let it unwhirl, let it tell its story. Yeah, each of us are unique story. Let it tell our story. Let it tell our story. Uh, my name is Ori and we're here for you guys' stories. We're here to feature all these leaders and their stories. Uh. Don't matter who you are, don't matter what your art, we just want to feature that gem that you are. Want to feature your stories. My name is Ori. His name is Alan and Gallen. I'm Ori, like I fucking said. Uh. From the beginning to the end, what's up to the world? Y'all are now my friends. Alan Sakian and that boy Ori Shapiro at it again. Uh. Studio of that play simulation. And you know we do it from beginning to the end. Uh. You beginning heard what to I just said? End. Yeah. Beginning to the end. Beginning to the end. Okay, let's be real, everyone. We all live on the same planet. All 100 plus billion people before us helped build civilization. It's time for us to be more grateful. Let's do it. It's time for us to be more collaborative. Yes. More inclusive. No matter who you are or who they are, do your thing and have room for their thing. Yeah. And support each other's things. Support each other's stories. So then, Everybody becomes a leader of themselves and their path and their blueprint. Everybody becomes a king or a queen of themselves. Yes. And crowns other people so they don't go to hell. Because yeah. hell is just unfulfilled potential. That's what hell is. It's unfulfilled potential. Uh. Everybody needs to fucking flower for us to make this world a better place in our final hour. Uh. Let's take a shower. Let's make it rain in this bliss of co-creating and shit. Love quotient, L, Q, remember that, embody that. Let it fill your soul, fill your spirit, yeah. Collaboration this across nations. It's the last song. I just wish that this thing would just last long. And you know, yeah, yeah, kill like the last song. And you know, y'all wish that it would last long. Uh. Woo! Fire. Fire. Suck Fire, man. guys. Guy, come over good here. Job. Good job. Good job, fam. Let's, let's close the show. Let's close, let's close the show, let's close the show, let's close the show. Okay, we're gonna do a hug, we, okay, we can do a hug on. I don't know what we're doing. We're gonna do a hug But right we're now. saying goodbye, we're wrapping up and just packaging this gift <sighs> that 
Mm. Want it so to come fun. through. That was yep. so fun. What an mm. incredible <laughs> convo yeah. between us and freestyle and depth into the psyche. Love you guys very much. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below on the episode. Let us know what you're thinking. Have more conversations with your friends, families, coworkers, people online about the topics that we discuss in this episode. Share more of that inspiration around the world. Unlock your gifts. Bring them forward. Commune with the divine. We love you very much. Please also support the artists, the entrepreneurs, the organizations, the spiritual leaders around the world that you believe in. Support Simulation. Our links are below to our PayPal, Patreon, Cryptocurrency. You can find another link to Design Cool Merch and Pay It. All this thing you pay for. All that cool stuff's below. Go and build the future, everyone. Woo! Manifest your dreams into the world. We love you very much. Thank you for tuning in. And yes. we will see you soon. Peace.